Good morning. This is Aremu Bukola Janet, a student of Tesla America in studying Masters in Public Health. I'll be presenting on perception of pet on adolescent use of contraceptives in Ibubu district in the Kurobu local government, Lagos State, Nigeria. By the way of introduction, adolescent can be described as a period between childhood and adulthood, with the age ranging from 10 to 19. And this period is very critical because it is characterized by inclination towards risky behaviors such as illicit drug use, unprotected sex, and violence and injuries. This, this risky behavior can lead to can lead to risky abortion and transmission and infection of HIV and other sexual assisted diseases. I don't say face many sexual and reproductive health risk. And the key for, factor for the of these issues is a lack of access to sexuality education and to accessible, affordable, and appropriate contraception. The number one killer of adolescent girls worldwide has been documented is unwanted pregnancy and childbirth related complications. And it has been reported that the incidence of unborn or safe abortion among this age group is between 2 to 2, 2.2 .2 to 4 million per year. Globally, 34 million people were living with HIV at the end of 2011 and with an estimated 0 0.8 of adults aged between 15 and 49. This age group includes the adolescents. And in 2010, it was estimated that 26% of all new HIV in the United States of America comprised of is among this, this uh, age group. In Nigeria, the zero prevalence infection rate among people aged 15 to 19 was put at 3.3. Many factors have been recognized throughout a barrier to the use of contraceptive by this age group. Among these barriers are fear, fear of the parents, guilt, anxiety, and even the fear of medical practitioners to approach them for help. The perception of parents is very important in motivating adolescents towards the use of contraceptives and improving their sexual behavior. As we all know that parents are, are the key decision makers when it comes to their child, to when it comes to their children. Statement of problem. Adolescent is a period with increasing sex interest. Many adolescents are very sexually active and they want to explore. They, they are not used to what is happening to their body, they want to explore, and they are prone to peer prayer. It was reported that approximately one fourth of adolescents testified to have intercourse prior to the age of 15. Abstinence as the only method of contraception has not been in all successful. Why? Because you can't keep these people from having sexual intercourse because, because they have the tendency to explore. The use of contraception is still very low among these people. And it has been reported that it's a, very, it's a very important part of national efforts to reduce adolescent pregnancy. There has been an increase in the level of provider sexual activity among Nigerian adolescents. Among the efforts to improve adolescent recovery health in Nigeria is the introduction of contraceptive to this age group. But the few existing studies in Nigeria show that the level of contraceptives is still low among this age group. Parental influence and communication have been found to positively influence adolescent decision making on sexuality and contraception in some parts of the world. But here in Nigeria, there is doubt of literature to really ascertain this. Thus, the need for this research in legal states, which happen to be the largest state in Nigeria. Therefore, this study answered the following question. What is the social demographic of parents of selected adolescents? Do parents have knowledge about adolescent social behavior and contraceptives? What is the level of communication and relationship between parents and their children? What is the perception of adolescent use of contraceptives? What is the association between parents' social demographic behaviors and perception on adolescent use of contraceptives? Methodology. This is a cross sectional survey that was carried out in Ugubo community to could a suburb of Lagos in Nigeria. The parents and the, and the participants for this study were the parents of some selected secondary school students. There happened to be five secondary school students in this community. Three of them were randomly selected and um, a sample size was calculated using the Nishley and Kishley formula to, to, and the sample size was calculated to be 120. The, um, the multi state sample was used to select this 120 people from the, from the three randomly selected secondary school. 
their prayers were contacted and a questionnaire that had already been, been, been protested was given to them and their informed consent was, was sought and obtained. Well, out of these 120 questionnaires, 110 was properly filled and returned. A descriptive analysis was used to describe the data generated in this study. Results. 74 of the respondents were females and 36 were male. This might have been by, by, as a result of the fact that Mothers are expected to stay at home more with their children because they are supposed to be the homemaker. Majority of parents are aware that adolescents engage in sexual relations and they are aware that they are at risk of contracting sexually transmitted infections. Respondents have fair knowledge of the mother form of contraceptive, with the most common known being condom and the least known among these contraceptives being the interuterine devices. Only 57% of the parents are aware that contraceptive can prevent unwanted pregnancies and sexually transmitted infections. Majority report that they communicate well with their children, though they don't discuss sexual, they don't sexual, they, sexual topics with their with their children. 74.5 said their religion does not allow adolescents to use contraceptives. And some even said their culture disapproves adolescent use of contraceptives. The findings from this study did not show any association between parents' social demographic characteristics and their, profession, and their perception. This study revealed that the fear of serious side effects, promiscuity tendency, they said they may be able to make them to be more promiscuous, their cultural beliefs and their religious beliefs act as a major factor that might have contributed to this low perception. This study also showed that parents want adolescents to abstain from any sexual relation, but they want them to be educated on the uses and benefits of contraceptives. This is a figure showing the response of the parents on, to questions on perception on the use of contraceptives. A lot, um, about 94% of them say that um, uh, contraceptives can, can have your side effects. Some said that um, adolescents, about one ten of them said adolescents should, should refrain from any sexual relation. A lot, um, about 81%, about 81% of them said that their culture will not allow allow adolescents to, to use contraceptives. While about 82 of them said that to make their religion goes against contraceptive use. And about 96 of these parents said that it will make it will make the ability to be more promiscuous. And they said that they can be given education. About 79 said that they can be given education on the use of contraceptives. In conclusion, Adolescent responsibility health has become a major public health concern due to the risk the death, madam and death that occur among this age group. Intervention in the form of awareness and education program to all parents can be can, can be of benefit. And this can even can even make further research to be done to know if this intervention can actually work to to uh, to allay them of the fear of side effects and some other means attached to the use of contraceptives. Also, Sex education should be included in secondary school curriculum in Nigeria and also encouraged at home because the parents have serious work to do to make their children to use contraception more because they they are they they, they are they, 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 they take a, a active role in their decision making. So if they are given this sex education at home, I hope they can know the writing, no peer prayer will be able to overcome.